right, I heard you guys like tentacles, and I hear you guys are giant nerds, so I'm doing this video to answer a lot of questions that I've been getting over the past couple of weeks, especially with my matchup videos and with people in stream hitting me up and asking really complex questions within a single sentence. So this is the current state of Alawi on patch 7.11. Um, Alawi is a lane bully juggernaut that does relatively poor early, extremely strong mid game, and then starts to fall off late game. You want to sp you want to dominate your lane opponent, get the tower, and then push a lane advantage into a team advantage. Um, for this patch. There hasn't been a whole lot that has changed for Alawi. The skill ranks, whether you max E or Q, hasn't changed. Um, Matchups haven't changed a whole lot. Runes, masteries haven't changed. Um, you're still running Storm Raiders, usually. You're running Grasp of the Undying occasionally in lanes like Riven or Yasuo, just for, some, for um, hey, Ishivel hosting at a convenient time. Thank you, Ishi. Um, so, Masteries haven't changed. You can run Deathfire against tanks when you don't need Storm Raiders. Um, runes haven't really changed. A lot of people are running Lethality, Scaling Attack Damage, or Flat Attack Damage. Itemization's shifted a little bit, and the meta has shifted a little bit. Um, less people have been building Cleaver early as a first item. I am still building Cleaver as a first item against tanks like Shen, or Maokai, or Malphite. Um, more people are building Death Stance as a first item. Gives you really strong synergy with your kid, a lot of healing, a lot of damage, but it's a little risky. Um, picks like Renekton can prey on you when you do that. Or like Yasuo, you mess up once, you're just dead. Whereas with a little bit tankier build, like a Phage Tabi build, you have a little bit more staying power. Um, Trinity and Sterex has never had as good synergy on the current state of the game as it has, especially when dealing with those mobile carries that are hard to pin down. Trinity and Sterex is really good together because Sterex increases your base attack damage, which increases the sheen proc on the Trinity force. Also, Sterex and Stoneplate have a surprising amount of synergy. If you trigger Stoneplate before your Sterex gets procced, you get a gigantic shield, and it's kind of awesome. Um, there's a definite skill to using it, and I'm still figuring it out, but that's pretty cool. Um, the general meta looks right now for top lane. Competitive is still being dominated by tanks, which you do rather well against, but solo queue is kind of filled with carries like Fiora, Darius, Cannon, um, things like that, Gangplank. Um, a lot of those are skill matchups, a lot of those are annoying matchups. Um, so your general role is to be a bully in lane, to try and win the game mid-game, when you have an advantage over your lane opponent. And that kind of goes into one of the frequently asked questions I get is, how do I win? I've got a lead. When do I split? You split when you can't face a team fight. Like, now that um, Kindred has been buffed, and now that Malzahar has been buffed, I can't split push because Kindred's going to kill me and I can't kill her, or Malzahar is going to kill me and I can't kill him because of the ultimate. So I'm in a group with my team. In that instance, you want to absorb the crowd control and the damage while dishing it out yourself and playing a counter engage role. Like, the enemy team will lose if they fight you. If they rush into you, and they try to get through you to get to the rest of their team, and you're a giant damage sponge and you do a ton of damage while they're trying to get to your backline. That's kind of your win condition in a team fight. Um, so when do I split? I'm facing Shen, and he wants to leave the lane, but I can get a tower every time he leaves. Or, for instance, Malphite has gotten a buff, and Maokai has gotten a little bit of a change. They can't possibly win in a fight, so I'm going to split push. I can deal with Maokai and whoever he brings to the fight. I can deal with Maokai and Lee Sin. 
So I'm going to split push. So there's that. So you need to figure out how you can win, if you can win the 2v1 or the 3v1, whether you group or not. This is a really tough decision, and it's not something I can give you a hard and fast rule. Um, another frequently asked question I get is, when do I build damage and when do I build tank? Um, the question that I ask myself is, do I have enough damage to kill my opponent if I play it correctly? And if the answer to that is yes, then I don't build more damage. I build tank. And if I do need more damage to kill my opponent, then I can build more damage. So say I'm facing Yasuo, and I'm building Ninja Tabi and Phage, and I kill him at level 4 because he messed up. Well, clearly, I, yet, I yes, I do have damage enough to kill him, so I don't necessarily need more damage. I'm going to finish my Trinity Force, and then I'm going to build a tank item, like Randuin's. And that's going to help me preserve my lead, because I'm not going to die as easily. Say I'm facing somebody like Shen, and I've got Cleaver, he's got Sunfire. It's kind of even, as long as he doesn't taunt into me. If he only saves his taunt away from me, then I can't kill him. So I do need some more damage, because even if I play it correctly, I still might not kill him. So I'm going to build my Death Dance first, and then I'm going to build a Black Cleaver second, and then I'm going to go into tank. So maybe that'll help. Um, that answers a couple of the questions. Um, one other thing on the new patch to look out for is Renekton. He's kind of a monster. He's gotten some changes to his animation canceling. Um, one thing that I've learned recently is that if he's at full rage, and he's in ra if you are in range to cue him, he can double dash and then unload his full combo, and you're probably going to die unless you can land your tentacle grab and ultimate. So approach him with caution. Everything else on this patch looks pretty decent for us. A lot of the item changes don't really mean a whole lot. You're going to have five bands, so that's going to be nice. So I'm going to wrap it up. We're going to upload this, and uh, good luck in your games.